गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ द शॉर्ट स्टोरी रूट्स रिटर्न बाय इसमा चुगताई एंड द करेक्टर स्केच ऑफ डॉक्टर रूप चंद जी दैट इज और ही इज मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट करेक्टर इन दिस स्टोरी सो गाइस द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ द स्टोरी इज लाइक दिस दिस इज अ वेरी टचिंग स्टोरी ऑफ द टू फैमिलीज वन हिंदू एंड अदर मुस्लिम द स्टोरी राइटर हैज वेरी ब्यूटिफली एंड पर्सनली डिस्क्राइब्ड द स्टोरी ऑफ दीज टू फैमिलीज बोथ द फैमिलीज वो वर वेरी क्लोज रिलेशन हैज सॉरी हैड वेरी क्लोज रिलेशंस दे आर इंटरमिंगल्ड विद वन अनदर बट एट द पार्टीशन ऑफ इंडिया द मुस्लिम वर फोर्स टू लीव इंडिया एंड टू गो टू पाकिस्तान इट वॉज नॉट अ वेरी ईजी टास्क फॉर दैम बट दे हैड टू डू सो so the members of this muslim family had also decided to leave india and they went to station but they were brought back by the hindu family it shows a great harmony between both the families and humanity has also been shown the writer has tried to show the boundaries of humanity and spirituality uh was also available at the time of great carnies she means to say that human society is not fully in human these are chimps of humanity now guys the character sketch of dr rupchand ji first of all the first point in the character of dr rupchand is uh, a believe he was a believer in god neighborly ness good good neighborliness dr roop chand ji is a cosmopolitan character he believed in communal harmony empty affection and mutual understanding he was a model doctor and idol neighbor who is very helpful to a muslim family at all hours he was a uh, much respected by all the muslim family as the respect abba after all uh, there was very close relationship between the two families for three generations it was he who transform the relationship from neighborliness into one family full of second characteristics uh, characteristic uh, uh, of dr rupchand is full of wit and humor uh, when amma felt sick and dr sahib came to know it he rushed to their house he used to ease her if you gobble up all pulao jarda how can you avoid falling ill he said if you want to see me just send word and i will be here you need not fake illness when he came to see a patient everyone else used to line up for a check up and he cuts joke them third point is about communal hatred Dr Sahib was not affected by the slogans of Pakistan Jindabad and Akhand Hindustan on the contrary Dr Sahib and Abba would make plans for a united Asia when anything special was cooked in the Muslim family he was invited and he started the special uh, and he shared the special dishes along with the grandsons when his wife told him not to eat anything there he used to retort jokingly fourth point is extremely sincere and dependable after 
Abbas passing away, he went to the children's school to waive the fees. And in the house, nothing was done without his permission. Uh, the family wanted to add two rooms to the western wing of the house. He suggested uh, that they should build two rooms upstairs and they did so. When uh, Fazan was not willing to act for science, Dr. Sahib uh, told him with his shoes to resolve the issue. Only a sincere man can go to this limit fifth point is a man with feelings dr sahib did not allow the communal struggle between the two families when Barry bhai and other members of the family packed their entire luggage and moved to the station in lorries under police protection dr sahib was the most unhappy he felt like a man deceived it meant that all the members of the muslim family had lost their faith in him the veranda of rup chanji's house was desolate at night he paced up and down his veranda he was cursing everyone and everything the next morning he brought back the whole muslim family from Loni Junction to the great relief and joy of Amma. He respected his words of Amma. Bhabi, if you want to see me, just send a word and I will be here. Really, Rup Chanji is a sincere and transparent person. Thus, he can, uh, uh, he an important character in the family. Now the summary of the story. This story gives us description of the close relation between two families of one Hindu and other Muslim. These families, these families are tied, tied in with a bound from three generations. This Muslim family is close to the other Hindu family. Mr. Gyan Chand of Hindu Mazhab used to say Munna's father, the Muslim League, by Lal will marry none but Munni. He said that the uh, he said that he would bring gold anklets for her. <coughs> it was the time when the formation of Pakistan was a matter of jokes. The head of the Muslim family, Abba and Dr. Rup Chanji, would make plans for a united Asia. The ladies of the two families would talk of spices and jewelries of their daughters. The daughters-in-laws used to app each other's fashion. The Muslim family got salt, paper and medicines from Dr. Sahib place. When anything special was cooked in Amma's family, the doctor and his grandsons would share that. Uh, doctor Sahib would rush as soon as he heard of Amma's illness. He would jokingly tell her, If you want to see me, just send a word and I will be here whenever he came to know that a new baby was expected, he would see the doctors for free. Uh, he would help the daughters in daughters in laws in their delivery, cut the umbilical cord and birth the children. After his retirement and Abbas passing away, doctor felt a new sense of responsibility. He uh, would go to children's house, children's school to get fees. Waived. Nothing was done in the house without consulting him. He advised them to build two rooms upstairs. 
he was so close that when fazan was not ready to apt for a uh, take for science he thrust him with his shoes with his shoes when fara returned home after querying with her husband dr sahib resolved the problem even the doctor's daughter in law sheila acted as a midwife and brought cap and clothes for the newborn on the sixth day even the supported the rival parties they renamed friendly and supported each other through thick and thin however in august however in august 1947 there was movement of population on both sides the stories of atrocities committed these stories led to mutual suspicion and mistrust small incidents were magnified and fear governed their actions finally the muslim family decided to immigrate to pakistan they packed their luggage when they found refugees coming in great numbers after losing their possessions however amma decided not to leave her place she would go neither to dhaka nor to rawalpindi all the members of amma's family moved to the station in the lorries under police custody however amma did not allow anybody to touch her trunk and decided to stay on on the marwar uh dr roop chand ji was very much disturbed at the decision of the muslim family to ship to pakistan at night his wife gave two trays of food to amma the whole night amma could not get proper sleep she was worried about the safety of the member of her family in the morning all the members of her family were brought back by dr sahib Doctor Sahib repeated his remark if you want to see me just stand word and will be here you need not fake illness so guys this is a very beautiful story about humanity love affection between two families and it shows that no uh, any type of partition cannot separate to such type of people who are bounded in too much love so guys this is a very beautiful story and you must read it thank you